Hey everyone, my name is Adam from Adley Media, and today we're going to take a look at named ranges on Excel. So to begin, named ranges is a way in Excel to classify a single or a group of cells together. As before, when you would usually reference a cell, you would use its cell address like B3 or C5. Instead, we're going to put actual names on these groups or single cells for people to understand it more. So instead of C3, we're going to use something like, we're going to name it like number one or whatever. So anyways, an example I have right now is that I have a personal income summary of Bernie Brothers. Let's just say I'm doing some research about him on his income. So I want to see his gross income, his disposable income, and his discretionary income. A normal way to do this is that you could calculate all these cells by just using regular referencing like that. However, let's say I'm sharing this with a bunch of my colleagues, or I'm actually giving this to Bernie Brothers himself, who doesn't have much experience on Excel. When he goes to the formula to see how I calculated it, he's going to see a bunch of cell addresses, which he may or may not understand. So to make it easier for him, I'm just going to name all these ranges, and hopefully it'll be easier to understand. So to begin, to make a named, uh, named range, you're going to select the single or a, or a group of cells that you want to name. So first, I'm going to name the tax rate. Then on the top left corner of Excel, there'll be a bar right here. You select the bar, and you just type in the name you want for the named range. So I'm going to go tax rate. Just a tip, you can't use any spaces in the named range. So you can use underscores, numbers, letters, but no spaces. Next, if you want to do a bunch of cells, you select the bunch. Again, go back to the bar and go and you just put your name. So gross income. I'm just going to do these quickly. Taxes. Disposable income. Bills. All right, there you go. So all my name ranges are done. If you want to take a look at which name ranges you have so far in your spreadsheet, you can click the drop down box and it'll show you. If you select them, it'll highlight them on your spreadsheet. If you want to delete or modify these um, name ranges, all you have to go is do is go to your insert tab, name and define, and there'll be a new box that comes up about all your name ranges. You can add, delete, or whatever you want to do here. So, anyways, back to this. So, even though that took a little bit of time, it'll be much better to understand. So we, now we can just go fill out the table. So taxes, it'll be gross. Oh, sorry, you're not gonna do that anymore. Never do that. If you're gonna use name ranges, you're actually gonna type in the name range. So it's gross income times it by tax rate. I'll select OK. And even though I'm ref um, using a named range of whole set, it will go individually from the first to the bottom. So if I pull down, it will go one by one. And there you go. So they each have the same formula actually within. However, Excel knows that you're referencing the top line, then you're going down again. So even if there's a group of cells in named range, it'll go keep going down as long as there's room. In addition, tax rate, even though I didn't absolute reference it, you don't need to, because once you name a cell, it's always going to remember that name. So this is tax rate. However, this below it doesn't mean it's tax rate plus one or down one tax rate and there it is that's it disposable income same thing so i'm going to gross income minus taxes and i can drag that down again no big deal and finally discretionary income the same thing applies disposable income minus bills drag that down and there it is there is bernie brothers personal income summary. So now when I send it to my colleagues or my research assistants or even Bill Bernie Brothers, if they go into these formulas, they'll understand that how I got my tax number was that I multiply my gross income by my tax rate and also my discretionary income. I got it through subtracting the amount from bills from disposable income. And so that's really, that's really it for named ranges. So my name's Adam. I'm from Adam Lee Media. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the video comment box below. Subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I'll see you next time on my next Excel tutorial.
Thank you.